Well, hello to you all and a very warm welcome back and thanks for your continuing support in making my classic Dirt Mike TV channel so popular with all of my current subscribers. Now, I hope you're enjoying the variety of machines I'm bringing you to my channel this year and that you're finding something of interest in each and every different motorcycle. Now in my next video we're going to take a short gander at a bike I spotted at a charity scramble event in Northern Ireland some time back. So just sit back and relax for the next 10 minutes as we check out Roderick Shaw's very tidy 1983 500 CR Husqvarna. Now Roddy races this bike in the Grade A twin shot class in his native Northern Irish Classic Scramble Club. Now I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how good these 500 CR Huskies are as these bikes are still as popular as ever with Classic and Twin Shock racers. Now I actually even owned and raced one of these uh, 500 CRs back in the day. Well, uh, maybe raced is not the right word to use here but uh, I think it was just uh, too much bike for my mediocre talents at the time, but uh, these machines were never short of power, and that's for sure. Now this particular example of Roddy's is a very tidy 500, and although he's fitted a couple of non-original parts to his bike, it's still essentially a good looking original Husky. Now the motor is of course a single cylinder 500cc two-stroke with a reed valve induction system. Now the gearbox as I remember was a four speeder which was connected through the wet multi-plate clutch which uh, was gear connected to the crank. Now correct me here if I'm wrong but the motor had a bore of 86mm and a stroke of 84 millimeters. Carburetors were normally 44 millimeter McCoonies and Roddy's uh, has a McCoonie on his uh, bike and a V-Force 3 quality reed valve. Now the ignition was uh, by capacitor discharge external rotor magneto system which is as I remember was uh, decent enough and reasonably reliable. Now the engine held about 1.4 litres of oil and uh, as long as you change the oil regularly uh, these engines were usually uh, unbreakable. Now the fuel tank as I recall held about 2.7 litres of fuel which was more than enough to keep this uh, thirsty motor going through the longest of race motors. Now the Husky's forks were 40mm stanchions and were excellent suspension units for their time. Now the damping was controlled by the use of hydraulic and air bleeders where you could add or remove air to adjust the softness of the front end. But it's good to see that uh, Roddy has kept the original piggyback Husqvarna units to fit onto his uh, bike's rear end and again these oil filled nitrogen charged shocks were decent units and performed well for their day and uh, they also gave you about uh, 12 and a half inches of clearance at the rear end. Although as 1980s motocrossers go these uh, lovely Husqvarna's are some of the nicer machines that were uh, on the racetracks during the early 1980s and uh, these huskies with their blue and white livery are cracking looking machines. Now although Roddy's bike is in good original condition this exhaust system is not the standard pipe and to be fair many of these older bikes very seldom have their stock system still fitted due to them getting damaged and uh, other performance upgrades but nevertheless this replacement front pipe and its uh, alloy silencer still uh, look the dogs on Roddy's uh, lovely 500 CR Husqvarna. 
And if you know these bikes, you'll know there's a nice wrap comes out of that uh, 500 tailpipe. Now Roddy's machine still has its original Husqvarna wheels front and rear and uh, of course uh, these Huskies had this uh, chrome molly steel swing arm. Now Roddy has also added a pair of these uh, very nice uh, handlebar uh, hand guards. But the overall condition of uh, Roddy's bike is uh, excellent and uh, his plastics are also still in good condition for its time. Now these big 500CR motors were basically a 430 Husqvarna engine that had been uh, restroked with a longer conrod and uh, new crankshaft. Now of course kickstarting these big 500s is not for the faint hearted and when you intend to kick these motors that's exactly what you have to do because if you approach these 500s with a view that you're going to start a 50cc Honda Cub then uh, she's going to fight back and leave you crippled for a fortnight. Yeah the secret is just to attack it and lean the bike in towards you and that brings a kickstarter closer to the ground and you'll get a much better stab at the lever. Now these bikes also had a plastic air box as just about all off-roaders were using plastic as their material of choice for dirt bikes in the early 1980s and uh, the air filter box also had a fully washable foam filter inside. But overall these 500CRs were good bikes they had plenty of power, they handled well, but you had to take charge of these beasties when riding them and if you could get a decent open class rider on one of these uh, white and blue rockets then they were almost as good as anything on the track in their day. And here we have uh, Roderick uh, having fun on his 500 Husky at uh, Ballyblack in Northern Ireland. But then again, some riders would say that these 500 CRs lived in the shadow of the mighty 490 Micos. And I suppose uh, very few would argue that fact as the 490 Michael was such an awesome open class uh, race bike. But nevertheless, these Huskies could still give a good account of themselves. They had loads of power and decent suspension thanks to those uh, Olin's shocks. And there we have the very proud owner of this machine, uh, Roderick Shaw. Uh, a very nice example of one of these uh, 83 500 Husk Varnas. Now, okay, look out for more of these classic race bikes coming up soon to my channel. You have some uh, very nice machines lined up to share with you here on my channel. Uh, more of these kind of uh, classics from the 1970s and 1980s. So thanks once again for watching and we'll speak again very soon. This video was brought to you in association with Wealthsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.